Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nissa and today we're gonna take a look at the uh, uh, mod. Um, I am only making one mod a day at this current time and that's first of all because of my voice. I still have a little voice issues and I apologize for that. Um, but um, I also try to make a few videos on at advance at this point and that's because the 18th next friday pokemon scarlet and violets come out which i play on my second channel so if you want to check that out this one it's in the description below but anyway um i live stream over there so live i need to be live where over here i record so i try to do that a little bit on advance so I hope you are okay with only one a day. The matters I want to take in the short break at this time, so I feel like I can, I can use this as a excuse. Furthermore, I'm working currently on uh, contacting all of the matters to offer them a spot in the description below on all of their their mods. I make videos on uh, so if you see a video with a mod you like you can go in the description and click that link to for instance the mod is patreon or coffee or what they use uh, where you can go and support the mothers and thank them for a job well done some of them also offer that if uh, that you can pay them in some way for a specific mod and you can help them choose the mods they are making in the future not all of them and you can't just demand a certain mod but it would be some kind of conversation about them and they do it in different ways so i try if you know a mother that i make video on the mods of then please put them in contact with me they can contact me on nexus or uh, on my instagram i try to check my dms over there uh nisa pillison again link below um, anyway, today we are going to look at the Gabon, not the Gibbon, but the Gabon, uh, Telepoin, and it was made by Mega Kebab. Again, a modern name I really like, especially because it's something you can remember and it's something you can pronounce, but it's also, who don't want a Mega Kebab in their life, I'm just saying. Um, but it is this yellowish it's a it's little brown but it's a very yellowish greenish yellow uh brown color uh more green is on the back more yellowish in the mid sections between the back and then it's more tan on the belly and the neck you can also see this yellowish tufts out here i saw pictures both with and without these um it's not a monkey i know that much about to be honest um but it's just to put it out there that these can be there and cannot be there apparently and they have these very unique or not unique ears but it's very exposed ears the tail is very very thin um but i think that's about it let's get into it yeah and here they are you can see we have a little bit of uh, different colorations this one is very light and we have some darker over here we will get a closer look at all of them in a minute but let's just jump in here first they are near threatened and the population in the wild is unknown which makes sense with a lot of these smaller monkeys they you can't just catch them all and then release them Anyway, they are from Africa. S distribution of the Gabon Talib is certain around the river Oguya, native to the equatorial coastal reaches between Cabinda and the Luang River and further extends to some Congo River branches. It can be found in Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea, Republic of the Congo, uh, and the Gabinda province of Angola. A presence of Gab 
cabantalapoin have been documented along the Jerem River in the gallery forest within the transition zone between the Central African Forest Block and the Guinea Congolier Sudania Savannas. This wasn't made for me to read clearly. The distribution of the Gabon Telepoin is through to be even longer is thought to be even longer sorry but not all observations have been confirmed okay that also makes sense on why we don't have a specific number uh they live in tropical temperate and grassland biome so they should be somehow easy to keep one of them need 200 square meters of land, 30 of climbable, no water, but they do swim. Uh, and they live from 17 to 42 degrees Celsius, so make sure they have a house if you have them in a temperate zoo. Uh, grade 3, climb proof fence, 14 feet, 85. <laughs> okay, so I think... I think this would be around four feet forty. I think I'm not sure, but I think so. Um, jumping over here, group sizes from three to nineteen. That's up to nine males and up to eighteen female bachelor and bachelorette group from three to twelve and one alpha per group uh pull it doesn't say male or female but with a lot of monkeys i'm not saying all but a lot is that the female stays where they live and then the males moves around that's also why the number of males are naturally smaller because every time they need to leave a group they are more vulnerable because they are without home and they're without protection um so i would think it would be a alpha female but i'm not sure they are polyamorous confident and they should not enter the habitat males grow to 28.4 inch that's 65 centimeters and females 23.2 inch that's 60 centimeters i think around there um live for around 21 years and weigh 18 pounds males that's nine kilo and 12 pounds female that's six kilos a uh, registration maturity at age five and a half most monkeys are four but again that's just most that's not all uh, Sexual sterilization at age 20, uh, only a single offspring a year, but are pregnant for six months and should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity. They don't have in in any in species enrichment, and I'm honestly thinking they are made on the proboscis monkey, though they don't have all of the things. They don't have the forest box enrichment, and they don't have the pumpkin um ball but besides that they have the same so that would be herbs and marker um sprinkler thingy then we have the three small balls the th uh rubber doggy and the three balls uh, that's the three without the pumpkin then we have these two bobbins uh ice cube and uh, cardboard boxes and the mirror thingy for food enrichment, again, not the box, uh, uh, forage the box, but we have the frozen fruit, the fruit spike tree, this small barrel feeder, and then this uh, three forester. So they have quite a few different things to go for anyway. 
I do not see a difference between males and female. We can drop down a male here. And a female here. And then see what happens. I haven't seen the difference. Maybe you can. Um, no, even the color here it seems to be the same. Uh, again, we have more than one coloration. But you can see here, I think this was the... Yeah, that's the male. And that's the female. She seems like she might be a little bit lighter in the face. But that may just be me. No, they look very much the same to me. Um, I will say, though... I'm just jumping in here. The pictures of the males are very, very dark in the face. So I honestly forgot which animals I was looking at when I looked at them for the, in the animal trading uh, thingy. Just a little mention. It's not... It doesn't ruin the mod or anything like that. If, if I installed this mod only for a premise that I wanted to use it, then I would remember what it was. It's just because... I install a lot of mods at the same time. Today I installed four, uh, and it's only a few days ago I also installed four. So, yeah, um, they look kind of groovy to be honest. Do we have anyone facing the sun? Oh, that's a baby. We're not looking at baby yet. We're gonna look at you. Then we're gonna turn the sun instead. That helped. Okay. This seems to be one of the lighter variation here. You can see the very light back, but you still have that in between color here that is more yellow before you get to the tan belly here. I would say though the belly appears even more yellow than the sides do, uh, and not this light tan color that I saw in the picture. But again, I look at Google fast, choose a picture throw it in there the mother probably use at at least the double amount of pictures if not hundred amount of pictures and maybe he visited a zoo to see them um so yeah the eyes are very dark but you can actually see i'm not sure if you can if you don't see this is in hd but you, there is a pupil here and then they actually have dark brown eyes. It's not like it's completely pitch black. Uh, I also like the structure in the face. I don't like the fact that it looks very shiny. It looks plasticky to me. But um, yeah. We also have a little, a, a little bit going on with the fur here. You can see here. This wouldn't be an issue if they made a strand of hair going this way. But when you look at it, you can see that this strand of hair goes this way. This isn't another because you can see the colorations down here chains the same as them up there. So it looks weird. Um, yeah, the glitching, keep in mind that might be my computer. I do feel like, yeah, here we have a different, oh, that's a baby also, baby, this one I feel like it's a different color, it's not much, but it seems more green here compared to the other that were more yellow, oh, and this one have more reddish eyes, uh, still I would still classify them as brown eyes, but they are very reddish, very, very reddish. Uh, and here you can see the same thing happens in both sides. We also have the weird thing here where you can see some strands of hair going from here to there. Therefore, aren't connected to the animal at all. Um, but again, it's something that you won't notice if you just play your game. The weird thing is, I just noticed, we're gonna drop the baby here. We're gonna take this adult, this adult male. Drop him here. 
and there's clearly something wrong with the sizing. This isn't something that you all need to react on. I will contact the mother, I will tell them about this, I will ask, and if I get anything back from them that they would like you to know, I will add it in a pinned comment below. Uh, that's my process for all of these things. If the mothers want to add something for the video, they can add a comment below and I will pin it. Or they can tell me and I will write it and pin it below as a comment. Uh, the baby here is very cute though. Uh, the sizing again, wrong. Very wrong, especially because the head over here seems bigger than the adult. But besides that, it is cute. It still has the plasticky thing with the face and the ear. But besides that, all of the um, wrinkles is very monkey-like. Um, all of the hair honestly also seem good compared to, you know, fluff doesn't work well in Flansu. I do... Does anyone see what I see here? I'm just gonna give you a minute, just a minute. Go and write in the comment section right now if you can see what I see. And don't you worry, I will tell you if you don't see. Okay. No issue. issue you can see right through there and there right through probably if we go over here the same things probably happen yeah you can see it there it jumps in you also have a tiny tiny small one there i'm not sure but again here and there And again, it's not something that co is bad. If you just play your game from out here, you would never notice. Um, I get a close-up, so I notice. Um, but depending on how you play your game, this probably wouldn't be an issue at all. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, again, I think they are made on the Puskus monkeys, which also make them swim. Now it's feeding time, of course. Uh, so we don't have any swimmers. Do we have a climber? No climbers. I do feel like they swim a hell of a lot more than they climb. I'm just gonna... Because as soon as they're done... Yeah, you can see now they go for the water. Um, and this is the baby, this is the adult. The adult is placed too low in the water, clearly. Uh, the baby is placed perfectly in the water. Baby's movement is also going faster than the adults. That's not a weird, that's just something I noticed. I'm not sure if that's right or wrong or anything like that, it's just something I noticed. Um... Yeah, um, but I do not see them climb that much. I do see them climb, but not a lot. I, I can place one up here. And then he will probably just climb down, but we can. The only thing I, th I noticed that is weird about the climbing, besides the normal climbing issues, is uh, here. Well, now he's actually close. I saw one earlier where he was like a long way away from the thing. Yeah, he doesn't exactly touch it. You can see a bit in between there, but it's it's not bad. This is this is how it should be. I just saw earlier that it did that, but I know a lot of the climbing animals from the game does that sometimes and sometimes not. So they may not be something from um the monkey here, the Gabon. Um, 
I just want to mention that I feel like because of the climbing that you could get away with this mod perfectly without having climbing for them or if you really want to see them climb so make sh then make sure they need to climb to get to somewhere for instance you can put the toys up here or something like that so they have a reason to get up here um yeah but but besides that um yeah i i said pretty much what i wanted to say here there is a few issues with this mod uh, I will contact the mother and ask again if they don't respond or they don't have anything they really want to say about it. Then, then I won't add anything. But if if they get back to me with something they really want to add to this, then I will put it in a pinned comment. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it here, and. Uh, you know the drill, like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. I'll in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.